this is the circuit diagram for AND gate. This is the symbol. A and B are the two inputs and Y is the output. This is the truth table for AND gate. That is, when A is 0 and B is 0, output Y is 0. When A is 0 and B is 1, then also the output is 0. When A is 1 and B is 0, the output is again 0. When A and B, that is it, when A and B is high, then the AND gate gives a high output. So, the condition for high output is A and B should be high. Let's have a look onto the circuit. There are two diodes. See to it that the positive terminal of the both diodes are to the right hand side while the negative terminal are to the left hand side. This is the resistor. It is a small resistor say 470 ohm as we did in OR gate. Here there are two supply batteries but in fact the purpose of both the batteries can be achieved with one battery alone. Let's see how the circuit works. We know that a diode will conduct only when it is forward biased. It will not conduct when it is reverse biased. So suppose we are connecting this negative terminal A of the diode and the negative terminal of the diode D2 that is B onto a positive potential. Then what happens is both the diodes will not con conduct. As a result, at this output point, we can experience this voltage as output. So you will get a high output when both these diodes are connected at the input terminal into the positive terminal of the battery or when the inputs are high. Now let's see what happens if any one of the diode is forward biased. That is, let's take the example of D2. If this negative terminal is connected to the negative potential of a battery, then this diode will start conducting because it is forward biased. Think of this circuit. So you can see that this diode just comes parallel to this point here. So when a diode conducts, the drop across the diode is less or negligible. You can see it comes to around 0.7 actually. That is all. So you can see that the output voltage across this will be almost low when any one of the diode conducts. So this is what happens under the condition 0, 0, 1, 0 or 0, 1. The output will go low. The components required for the circuit would be two diodes. We'll take IN4007, a resistor say 470 ohm and a 6 volt battery. These are the components, two diodes. The silver ring shows the negative terminal of the diode. This is the resistor. Its color code is yellow, violet and brown. Yellow for 4, violet for 7 and brown for 1. So it is 47 into 10 raised to 1, 470 ohm. Now this last one is a golden ring that shows the tolerance of the resistor. Golden color refers to 5% tolerance. Now the other component is the LED. This longer leg of LED is the positive terminal of the LED. As in the circuit, we will first place the two diodes with negative on the left hand side and connect the two positive with a single wire. For convenience, we will extend this point to some other point with an extra wire. I have placed both the diodes on the breadboard. You can see that the negative ring is on the left hand side. Both the positive side of the diode are connected with the help of a wire. I will take an extension for this point. 
just for convenience of the circuit to some other point. I will connect a resistance from this extended point now. The other end of the resistance should go to the positive of the battery. Then the negative will automatically be grounded. I have connected the 470 ohm from here to another point. Now I will connect this point to the first horizontal line where I intend to give the positive potential of the battery. LED will be connected from the starting point of the resistance to the ground. My intention is to give the negative of the battery to this last horizontal line. The LED's positive terminal is connected to the same point and the negative terminal to the ground. This is the battery box and these are the two wires from the positive and negative terminal of the battery box. I will connect the positive terminal from the battery onto this first line, first horizontal line and the negative wire from the battery onto this last negative line. Now two wires A and B has to be connected to the two diodes. For the purpose of easy identification, I will use a green wire for the input A and a red wire for input B. So these two are my input terminals A and B. If the LED glows even without giving the two inputs A and B, it doesn't matter because we have to interpret the output only when we give the input. Our first input condition would be A equals 0 and B equals 0, then A equals 0 and B equals 1, then A equals 1 and B equals 0, then A and B is equal to 1. So first I will give A is 0 and B is also 0. So the output LED is not glowing at the present and the, hence the output is 0. As the next condition, I have kept the A green input low and the red B input high. So the input condition is 0, 1 and now the NED is showing a 0 output. The third condition is the A input high and the B input low. Now again the output LED is off or the output is 0. Now the fourth condition A input is high and B input is also high and now the LED output is lit up or the output is high. So all the conditions of truth table are verified. Now as an extension we can also connect a voltmeter across these same points and read out the voltage output. Here we have to interpret a high voltage and low voltage that is state 1 and state 0. It necessarily need not mean that the state 0 is 0 volt but it only means that it is lower than the high state. Now I will introduce the voltmeter to the circuit. It should be connected parallel to the LED. This is the wire from the positive end of the voltmeter. It is connected to the positive end of the LED in a same straight line. This is the wire from the negative end of the voltmeter and it is connected to the negative ground. Now the first condition A is 0 and B is 0. Both green and red wire is connected to the negative ground. Now you can see that the output is 0.8 volt. This 0.8 volt you have to interpret as the output 0 or low state. Now A is 0 and B is 1, that is A is low and B is high. Then you can see the LED output is 0 and the voltmeter reads 0.7, that is the 0 for the voltage. Now the condition 
A is high and B is low. The input is 1, 0. The output LED shows output 0 and the voltmeter shows the same 0.7 volt output which is to be interpreted as 0 state. Now the last condition, A is high and B is also high. Then the output is also high, that is why the LED is glowing. And in the voltmeter, the high state is denoted by 3 volt. So input 1, 1, 1 and 1, the output is also 1 and the voltmeter reads high. The truth table can also be extended for a voltmeter reading. The zero condition, we saw that it refers to 0.7 low state and the one state or high state corresponds to 3 volt in the voltmeter. So to conclude, the AND gate gives a high output only when both the inputs A and B are high. A better generalized statement is that an AND gate gives high output only when all the inputs are high. Once an OR gate is constructed, we can convert it into an AND gate easily. So for that, let us observe what are the main difference between the OR gate and AND gate circuit. The first difference is that while the diodes are having their positive terminal at the left hand side in an OR gate, here the diodes are having the positive terminal on the right hand side. So they have to be kept the opposite manner. Then, the next difference would be, here, the 470 ohm starts from this common point and ends on the earth. Here, the 470 ohm starts from here and ends on the positive terminal of the battery. The negative terminal of the battery, you don't have to do anything because it is already connected to ground. So, if you can make these two changes, to the OR circuit, it will result in an AMP circuit. So let us see the circuit. This is my OR circuit where the positive ends of the two diodes are to the left hand side and the LED and resistor is connected parallelly to the negative line. Now to make this into an AMP circuit, my first alteration would be to reverse this diode. Both the diodes are reversed with negative terminal on the left side. Now the next alteration would be to remove this end of the resistor and put it in some other point. Then connect that point to the plus line of the battery. This is the plus potential from the battery this is a minus line from the battery so now the point a and b inputs a and b are low or zero zero and the output is zero now a is zero and b is high output is again zero a is high and b is low so one zero output is again zero now, here A is high and B is high and the output is also high. So, one, one condition for input, the output is also one. So, this is a simple method to convert an OR gate into an AND gate. The two differences or two changes that we have brought us, we reversed the diodes, then took the lower end of the resistance from the earth point and placed it somewhere else and connected that point to the plus line of the battery so that the OR gate was converted to an AND gate. So the two alterations that we did were the two diodes were reversed. Then the second alteration was the lower end of the resistance from the negative line was taken and put in some other point and that point was connected to the plus battery line.